You may not recognize his name, but a lot of you will certainly recognize some of his artwork. Dave Fuller, who teaches art at Parker High School, is retiring after 38 years in the classroom. But as Don Jorgensen shows you in tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Fuller is not ready to hang up his brush just yet. I think it's my time there. I'm going to go out and do some stuff on my own. To say that Dave Fuller has had a hand in changing the way Parker High School students look at art would be an understatement. Well, I think so. I hope so. You know, I've tried to build it, you know, over the, all the years. For nearly four decades, Fuller has inspired young students to do great things. Well, we placed six out of the seven years of the state visual arts. We got first place. 16-year-old Olivia Anderson, who just won first place in three different categories at the state visual arts competition, says Fuller has been instrumental in helping young students with their artistic skills. He's a good art teacher. I don't think I would be very talented without it. I think his class are really structured. I think we're really lucky with getting to do pretty much whatever we want. Anderson says Fuller will be missed. I think it's going to be hard to go on without him, I guess. I think he's built it up over the years and he's really won a lot of awards and I don't think it's going to be the same without him. One of those awards was winning the national title for the Vans Custom Culture Shoe Art Contest back in 2017. These are some of the shoes the students painted to win the national title. Fuller says that it was an incredible victory just knowing how small Parker High School is compared to others in the competition. You've got to believe that uh, some of these other schools with a bigger talent pool are just as talented as our, but our kids came through and beat everybody. The art class also won $50,000 for the school's art program. Speaking of shoes, Fuller has left his footprint in a different kind of fashion in gymnasiums all across Kelloland. Fuller is responsible for painting large murals and mascots for several schools, including Parker, Harrisburg, and Gerritsen. We caught up with him seven years ago when he was painting this eagle in the Garfield Elementary Gymnasium. I've, I've painted a lot of gyms in South Dakota and the surrounding states and in retirement. I, I plan on doing a little bit of that too, you know, and uh, it's been a, a great uh, summer job for me. Uh, some, some summers I make about as much as I do teaching. But now that Fuller is staring at retirement, he also wants to do some of his own artwork, like these airbrush paintings, a woman decorated with colors, a tiger, and an old man. Fuller says all three are prints that he designed using AI. You can type in anything and it will come up with an image within 60 seconds, come up with four images in 60 seconds. It'll print out an image, then Fuller uses his airbrush to paint it however he likes. And I can change it up and I'm, I'm changing colors and, and uh, different things so it's not exact either. But yeah, it is an AI art image. Fuller says AI is already being used by lots of artists. But is it going to ruin art? You it know? could. You know what I'm saying? Like it very could. could yeah. you, you won't know the integrity of that that print. Is it real is it, or is it AI? Yep, and, and that's, that's the issue right now. But he's going to embrace it and continue to come up with his own images and then paint them. His goal is to attend shows and sell them to help supplement his income in retirement. Fuller says he'll miss the interaction with the kids, but says it's time to focus on himself. Do a little traveling, do a little artwork, paint a few gyms and, and relax a little bit. And So uh, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, we wish you the best. Even though Fuller is 65 and retiring, he says he's still learning new art techniques every day.